We teach a course called Practical Skills in Design for ECE students. This course was actually suggested to me by one of our own ECE undergraduate students. I work in the senior design labs, and I noticed that a lot of the seniors lack the knowledge necessary to prototype their capstone design projects. I thought it would be nice if we gave students at a sophomore level the skills necessary to put together their projects for capstone design later, personal projects, and even co-ops and internships along the way. Practical Skills in Design is a sophomore level lab class. It's one credit hour, it's an elective class, and a major part of the class is a design project. Students choose their own ideas for their design project, anything they want to build. We require them to use an engineering design process and a design notebook. The project itself must contain a microcontroller, one or more sensors, one or more outputs, motor, LED, solenoid. The electronics have to be soldered onto a PCB or vector board, and the project has to be um, attached to a structure or enclosed. We introduce them to embedded systems using a TI launchpad and Energia. We have them follow a lab where they do sensor integration with some very common sensors. We also have them write code to, in, to uh, control a servo with a potentiometer. The purpose of the project is to get students to use design spaces like this and our maker spaces on campus. Our lab staff teaches the design skills, practical skills that students need to complete the project. One of the most important skills we teach is soldering. We use these kits to teach both through hole and surface mount soldering. Once the students have finished, they get to keep the board they've put together. In addition to the soldering skill sets, we will be teaching many other skill sets. Some of them will be including basic tools, which goes over everything from hammers to screwdrivers up to most handheld tools. Then we will also be teaching a PCB design that will allow you to lay out a circuit board that you will need for your circuit for your final capstone design or personal project or stuff like that. We will also be teaching 3D printing using SolidWorks that will allow you to build out your three-dimensional products and print them both in uh, ABS plastic or if you have to there is a four-axis CNC machine that will let you mill it out as well. We will also be teaching a basic uh, connectors and headers class. This will allow you to uh, develop DB9, Ethernet cables, headers, connectors, all the stuff that you'll need to actually connect your circuits to your microcontroller that you'll be using. Towards the end of the semester, students are given roughly four weeks to complete their projects. Um, these projects uh, usually are something along the lines of a dog feeder or um, usually involve music or some of their personal hobbies. Hello, my name is Latifa al Maghrabi. This is my final project for ECE 2881. It's a vest for bikers. It has two sets of LEDs, right and left. Each set would turn on uh, based on the turn detected. The turn is detected using a magnetometer or an electronic compass that you see here. There is an Arduino micro that I use as a microcontroller to control the whole system. Um, if I turn it to the right, these LEDs would turn on. If we detect a left turn, then these LEDs would turn on. Thank you very much. So it's a code breaker game that the microcontroller generates a random binary code and that the goal is to uh, flip the switches on the, in the on and off positions in the correct order to win the game. And now we've won the game. And it's going to flash five a couple times. And there's a delay in there so you can see the, the uh, changing segments. This is an Arduino based light tracker. Uh, I'm using the servo down here to control motion in the X, and I'm using the secondary motor or servo to control motion or tilt in the Y direction. So right now it's tracking the most intense light source in the room. If I shine my flashlight on it, it'll try to track the position of the intense light source. If I pull it away, it'll return to you most intense light source that it can detect. The skills learned in this course are going to serve the students in their future endeavors and the feedback from them has been very positive. 